Hey everybody, this is Frilly Off and welcome to another Minecraft video on the AlphaCraft server. Before we get stuck into today's episode, I just want to give a big thank you and a big shout out to my patrons. So thank you very much to Caleb Arthur and to Tomo, to Dimad and Dondarian, to Rosebin and to Joy Selina. Thank you very, very much for your continued support. It is very, very much appreciated. Thank you. So as you can see, I've been doing a little bit more work on the Guardian farm. Let me turn around. Hang on. Here we go. Right, and obviously I need to light up a little bit more. There's a creeper up there. Can you see him? So I've got to do a bit of lighting up the top. But as long as he can't get down here, that's not a big problem. So I've moved my portal from upstairs down to here. Tried to keep it. Doesn't quite fit, does it? Tried to keep it in the same, same design doesn't quite fit I don't know whether I'm going to leave that or whether I'm going to put it somewhere else it just doesn't quite fit in but uh, I've uh, what I've done we've still got the one vat upstairs and we'll go up and have a look at that in a second but I've now split the the, the guardians so now they fall down in the corner and some come this way and down here some come this way and out here and it's going to be the same in the in this corner where the other vat is going to be and then over there and so on and so forth. I've also put filters now on these chests. So all these chests now have crystals in them or will have crystals in them. All these will have shards in them apart from the ones that had already been filled up before I put the filter back on again. This one currently doesn't have a filter on it so it's going to be everything that's left over that goes around here. But I have found that the items go over the hoppers sometimes so quickly the hopper doesn't have time to suck it in. So there are at the moment some some shards and some crystals getting over here when they shouldn't. But as soon as I put a filter on this, as soon as I put a, a fish filter on there or whatever it is filter on there, the, uh, the items will go around the top uh, continuously until they get picked up by the correct filters so it's not going to be a problem ongoing it's just a, a little problem at the moment well it's not even a problem at the moment look at this the stuff is flowing in art it's also a junk chest as well where I dumped a load of gear let me take some of that out because I'm going to need some of that I certainly need that iron for what we're going to be doing later on so that's all uh, that's all shards I've also filled up half a double chest smurf wanted some of those but as yet he's not been over to pick them up and i really really need you smurf to get over here and uh, and trade me some sea lanterns for some iron because i do need lots of iron uh, and in here crystals for days as well as what's over there so it's working really well so and i it's coming together i'm liking the look of it still lots more work to be done liking the look of it Quick look upstairs. I just want to give you. I've done a lot of work while I've been off camera, so I just want to give you a quick run around before before we go off and stop to the main project for today. Ooh, what was that? That frightened me a little bit. Uh, so uh, the the vat as it is, I've put some legs on it to make it look like it's now. In fairness, now it looks like uh, like a, a, a tripod with a gauze thing above it. You know, when you were at school with your Bunsen burner and you've your uh, your beaker on top of it anyway it's going to look even better when it starts bubbling but i haven't done that yet uh, i've started work on the second vat but these take for oh, these take forever so that's what it looks like at the moment and as you can see with just one vat going i'm never going to be short of sea lanterns never in a million years Okay, so that's the, the rundown of what I've done in the Guardian uh, Temple. I'll now show you what I've had to do in the tree farm. So as I mentioned the other day, I was getting a little bit concerned that Boo wasn't keeping up. And unfortunately, after a really good AFK session, um, she wasn't able to keep up. Which is, a, which is a shame, it really is. Because I went to all the effort of getting this thing to run as quickly as I could. But uh, like I said, she's just she's just not able to shoot quick enough. So I've had to put in the extra two hoppers and increase the delay now to 16 balls of slime as opposed to 8 balls of slime. So this thing now takes twice as long 
to push the logs through and so far that seems to be working so uh, it still works fine it's just a little bit slower but like I mentioned the other day I'm AFK here uh, overnight and whether it takes 10 seconds or 20 seconds to to do a line of trees it really doesn't make a great deal of difference so that's no biggie but unfortunately it's something I've had to do something I've also done off camera now we've got quite a lot of bone meal uh, well it's pretty much unlimited supply of bone meal now I've stuck in my uh, my dye factory now this this is a it's a dye factory I've been using forever but I've slightly modified it uh, to use Smurf's invention of sticking where are we I can't show you sticking minecart hopper minecarts in the dirt and then running a, a, a line of hoppers into uh, into the uh, into the filters at the back and that puts the dye or the flowers into these hoppers uh, in the past I'd turn it on and stand here and pick the the dye uh, the flowers up myself but uh, well this just seemed like a better thing to do so thanks for that Smurf I've yoinked it away from you and so far it works great like I say it's, it's, it's brilliant So as you may know, if you bone meal a too tall plant, you get an identical plant from it. So uh, it's a, an unlimited amount of dye. And from these, you can craft quite a lot of the colours. At the top, I've now got bone meal, which we've got lots of. Uh, ink, which is going to be a problem. Lapis problem. And, and cactus dye. I'm going to be putting a cactus, a small cactus farm in here. I'm going to be putting a small cocoa bean farm in there. So hopefully then, apart from the stuff I've got to mine and the stuff I've got to go out and catch, we should have most of the dye. This chest is for bone meal and that run, it gets fired up into the top and it, it's on a loop. It's on a loop of hoppers there. So that should keep all of the, all of the chests. 54, I can throw some more in now. Yeah, 51. I can throw some more bone meal in now. This should keep all of the, the, the hoppers filled with bone meal. When the light's on, it means that I can add bone meal to the system. There you go. And uh, the light goes off when, it's, uh, when it starts filling up or when it is filled up. So that's what I've been doing since you've been gone. What I want to do now, I'm about to start I think Smurf's going to be helping me but we're about to start building the Iron Alpha 60 village resettable iron farm at spawn but in order to do that it's going to mean me traveling to spawn quite a lot and at the moment my nether tunnels are pretty boring and I don't have the ice in my tunnels so I really can't get to spawn very quickly so before I start doing the iron farm, I'm going to build myself quite a nice ice farm. And I'm going to be building it over there. This is where I get blown up by a creeper because I've not heard him coming. I think I'm going to build it on top of here. So I've been up here already and I've leveled off some of the area some of the ground and I'm going to build the mechanics of it at the top but I'm going to have the main the, the main farm built into the mountain itself so that way when I come up here I don't have to worry about creepers blowing me up or zombies or skelly shooting me so that's the plan for today uh, but before I do any of that, I'm going to need loads and loads of pistons. This, take, this takes loads of pistons. I mean, loads and loads of pistons. Loads of observers, a uh, lot of repeaters. So I am, I am going to have to go away and get myself some, some stuff. Oh, my ankles. I am going to have to go away and get myself a lot of stuff before we get started. So I might just have a wander over to Smurf's base and uh, and borrow some iron from him so smurfer 
If you're there, mate, I'm coming to get your iron. Actually, I'll bring you some sea lanterns while I'm at it. So I'll bring you some sea lanterns and have a way with some of your iron. Okay, so hopefully I've got all my gear and I've also got myself a, a beacon, which I've not used yet. I've had a beacon forever, but I haven't got around to using it. So thank you to Smurf for giving me a lot of the iron. Fabulous. Oh, I need a bit of gold. I need something. I've got a bit of gold. So I think what I'm going to put on this is going to be haste. Haste 2 to start with. Wow, I'm loving the sound effects. So I've now got now got haste. So now what I need to do is I need to dig a mahusive mahusive hole. Actually, look, should I just build it on top? I'll build I'll build the mechanism on top with the, all the gubbins, all the the harvesting underneath, but I'll have yeah, I think I'll build it on top because it looks quite nice. It's, it, it does look quite nice when it's built. But what I am going to do first... Let's grab myself some Zeds. So, uh, so let me... Let me grab some stone. A load of pistons, a load of stone brick um, what else am I going to need to start with load of repeaters so the we're going to have uh, an area it's going to I'm trying to keep it inside one chunk just because I can but also I I don't want any any glitches if um, if the chunk with one chunk unloads and the one next to it doesn't and initially I was going to use the minecart system but and that would have caused me a problem if it was outside a chunk and then I then I changed my mind and decided I would use repeaters instead of minecarts but I'm still going to try and keep it inside one chunk uh, so uh, let me Oh, look at that haste this is brilliant so it's uh, it the pistons are going to be outside the one chunk so here's me saying inside one chunk it's going to be outside one chunk i'm going to shut up about chunks actually for the time being and i'm just going to build it and uh, and we'll see we'll see what it looks like so let me throw down a few blocks and then i'll explain what i've done when i've done it so that's one corner one edge of it sorry not one corner one edge so the, we're going to have a water source blocks on here and they're going to be underneath the underneath these pistons as well as well as underneath solid blocks in the corners so they won't freeze when they're in the corners underneath under cover but here on top of the pistons where they have access to the sky they're going to freeze uh, and when they freeze after a few seconds or so these uh, these uh, repeaters are going to activate, which is going to activate the observer block, which is going to fire that piston, pushing the ice up. A few ticks after, an observer behind the back of this block here, here, is going to activate, which is going to activate this stone block, which is going to activate that jukebox, uh, sorry, the note block, which will then activate that observer block, which will fire that piston. So this piston fires first, and a few ticks later, that piston fires a second time. Now, I'm going to be able to demonstrate this with a lever, which I know I've got. Actually, I'm making another one, and I've got an absolute boatload of them. Here they are. It's not going to work, is it? Frills. Come on, how long have you been doing redstone? Now, I've worked out that what I was doing was having them pulse 
really close together that was a bad example actually let me do that again what I was doing to start with was having them pulse really close together and that was firing these two pistons at the same time I've got to put another piston up there haven't I? I've completely cocked that up like that but I figured that if you press if you flick the lever and then leave it for a little while you get two separate pulses like that and it'll all will become obvious later when uh, when we've got all four sides on so uh, so this is this is the the mechanism really we're going to have one of these down here across over there and across over there so so the ice is going to be forming on all four sides in the past my old ice farms had ice only forming on one side and then being pushed into the center and then actually being pushed upwards this one is going to push them into the center then it's going to push them downwards and that makes the redstone on the top so much easier so all I've got to do now all all I've got to do now is fix there fix that because I forgot to put a piston on there and then build this on all four sides so I'll be back in a minute so this is going to be the size of it and as you can see because the push distance of a piston is only 12 blocks this is never going to push far enough to push these blocks out of the way they'll sort of meet in the middle so they're going to push inwards they're going to push inwards these are going to push inwards these are going to push inwards and then all of them are going to get forced down so it's going to fill up from the outside inwards uh, and pr getting progressively smaller and smaller until it's completely filled up in the middle and then you're going to have a solid block that is 12 by 12 by 12 of ice which uh, which is a lot isn't it it's 12 by 12 I'm not going to do the maths but it's lots okay so we've got the main workings of it in now and I've come up here because it's a little bit less noisy it's going to be noisy down there but it's an AFK farm you, you don't really get any XP from farming ice so so I'm not really too worried about it uh, but this is uh, this is it working once those are all filled with water and it starts to freeze then this is going to start working like a charm but I just wanted to show you now I need to mob proof it I need to put a top on it and I need to put a roof over the top of the the green bit in the center all of that needs to have a roof over the top of it and then redstone on the top of that so I'll quickly run down and and sleep and then I'll put the roof over the top of it and then hopefully you'll be able to see it working okay so that's it it's all done it's all done down the bottom anyway uh, sorry up the top uh, we've just got to fill it full of water now but we've got the we've got the roof on now and we've got the pistons underneath there now every time there's a change in state of uh, of, of light it all a change in state of the the block there the daylight sensor the observer block is going to detect it and then it's going to activate all of the pistons on the roof so in the morning and in the evening it's going to be more active than it is during midday or the middle of the night but I don't think that's going to be a problem also with all the pistons firing at once it does cause a little bit of a lag spike so hopefully hopefully nobody complains about it if they do then I'll have to I'll have to do something about it won't I but uh, but hopefully I won't have to so my next job then is to fill in all of the wall I'm gonna I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna fill in all of this wall like so all the way around and then I'm going to start digging down and I need to dig down 12 levels or I need to have a gap of 14 between the pistons and the floor uh, and that'll mean that the pistons will be able to push to their push limit before they stop pushing the ice down and then we'll have uh, 12 by 12 by by 12 uh, of ice and I'm sure by now you've worked that one out even though I haven't so I'm going to fill all this in and then I'm going to start digging down Okay, so I've dug down to the uh, I've dug down 14 blocks now. So those pistons are going to be able to push 
ice down to this level and I want to replace this floor with hopefully an illuminated floor but not a floor that's going to melt the ice obviously what I want to do is an uh, ice will stay melted as long as the light level on that particular block is 10 so as long as the light level on that block is 10 then ice on top of it won't melt if it's uh, if it's less than, if it's more than 10 the ice will melt so what I need to do I think it's I think it's a stroke of genius if I'm being honest but then I would do wouldn't I if I put a light if I put a torch down the bottom there and then I put pistons oh, I've got blocks everywhere facing up like that let me get rid of these torches around here hopefully hopefully this is going to work not going to make me look like an idiot the light level on these blocks is okay 11 oh right. it's no it's not, not not a problem not a problem love these down by one more light level on this block is 10 10 and 10 and there's also enough light in here that I won't have to worry about mobs spawning go and say it. you can say it if you want to say it genius not really but anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna lob down a load of this I've got to dig out a load more of the floor thank God for uh, for haste too I don't know what I'd be without haste so I'll lob down a little bit more uh, sorry I'll dig out uh, quite a bit more of this floor put down some lighting and hopefully we'll be nearly there we'll be nearly ready to, to get this bad boy working okay so I finally done it and I've gone with a woody theme and I've tried to to vary I've tried to vary it up a little bit so it's not bland and boring but I've gone with wood because when we're in here with our with our silk touch pick it's gonna be a half decent pick what I don't want to be doing is accidentally whacking the walls and demolishing the bricks which I probably would do if I if, if these were made out of stone or something like that so I've gone with a with a woody look and I don't think it looks too bad I think it looks okay I got some ice out from outside I put down a few source blocks of water and got a few ice blocks just to test that the light in here was low enough it, it is it should be it's uh, it's on a block light level of 10 and that should be okay but I just want to double check I didn't want to come in here one day to find there there was water everywhere and so far this has been like this now for 15 minutes or so it does look like it's okay so what I need to do now then is light up this portal and then I need to I've taken the measurements for this already what I'm going to do now is run back to the base get into the nether find the location in the nether set up my portal in the nether because as you probably know if I were to go through here it would create another portal somewhere else in the nether it wouldn't create it where I wanted it to create it uh, so in order to link these properly I have to light this one but don't go through it and it's the same if I if I hadn't lit this one and I just created a portal in the nether and came through the portal in the nether it wouldn't it wouldn't put me here even though the portal was made if it wasn't lit it wouldn't bring me out here it would be bringing it, it would bring, probably bring me out on the roof or somewhere like that uh, which I didn't want it to do so make the portal light it but don't go through it and then go and make your portal in the nether which is what I'm going to go and do now okay so that's where the portal has got to be look it's, it's really close just down there is the guardian temple there's my base just here is going to be the ice farm so cross your fingers <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, excellent. So now I need to get back in there and block off the entrance. The last thing I need is for me to go through here and have mobs coming through into the nether, especially creepers and the like.
Right, I'm going to run. I've got to leave that like that just for a second because I need to get upstairs and I need to fill this in with water. We don't have any water at the top and I need to sleep before I do that. I should have thought about that before, shouldn't I? Have I got away with it? Got away with it, right? So there's this, there's this start lever, the on-off switch. Oh, look, bad boys, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Let's get in here. I hope there's nothing spawned in here. Right, I need to fill this up with water. Fantastic. Now, some of these are already starting to freeze, which is perfect. So I just need to get myself out of here. Start this working, get a bit of, a bit of redstone in there. That now means that the, the main piston, the, the, the ceiling of pistons is now going to be able to start pushing blocks down and then I just want to break all of this don't want anything getting on the roof and now we just need to turn it on do a bit of counting so Brilliant. Now let's get down inside and see if it's doing what I'm hoping it's going to be doing. Oh, my ankles. Brilliant. Now hopefully when the, uh, when the pistons on the top force those blocks down, they'll start filling up. Okay, so I've been AFK now for a couple of hours. Actually, it's been about three hours because despite the fact that I measured and checked and measured and checked and measured and checked again I built the floor one block too low so the ice was finishing up there not all the way down at the floor which was no good really so I've had to uh, I've had to <laughs> I've had to raise the walls, I've, I've raised the floor up wide, I've moved the pistons up, the lighting up a little bit and I've also had to mess about there so that took the best part of an hour to do. So I've been AFK, let's say, let's say I've been AFK for two hours and uh, and it's, it's, it's almost full. I reckon in another 30 minutes or so this would be completely full. So I'm going to uh, see how much ice I've got in two hours. Okay, so out of that, I managed to get a full shulker full of ice, plus two stacks and a few others. And to be honest, I'm not sure how many of those despawned. I might have had, I might have had a few of those despawned because I weren't picking them up quick enough. But Needless to say, and it's filling up again already, needless to say, this thing is going to get me enough ice to certainly do my tunnels. So I'm going to call it a day for today then, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And a special thank you again to my patrons. Again, I appreciate your support uh, more than you could possibly imagine. If you have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is fully off in my ice farm and I'm out of here.